the amount of ice in the world today is decreasing, and this will have an effect on sea level. If one were to take a month, November of 2016, for example, one would observe that there was less ice in the Arctic than was the historical norm. So if one were to compare the amount of ice in the Arctic in the year 1980, 11.7 million square kilometers, and compare that to the value in 2016 of 9.1 million square kilometers, there is a difference of 2.6 million square kilometers. In November 2016, the greatest decrease in the amount of sea ice around Antarctica was observed. So while the 1980 value was 16.7 million square kilometers of sea ice around Antarctica, the value in November 2016 was 14.5 million square kilometers, a difference of 2.2 million square kilometers. Taken together, in November 2016, there was 4.8 million square kilometers of sea ice less than in November 1980. This is equivalent to half the land area of the United States. And then when one considers that the amount of ice covering Greenland is also dropping, and the amount of ice on terrestrial glaciers is also decreasing. In the reference glaciers which have been measured, it seems as if a drop of more than 20 meters or more than 60 feet of ice in an average reference glacier has occurred since 1980. All in all, it is clear that the amount of ice in the world is decreasing because of climate change.